I think it is. Okay, I think I think we actually have some streaming to other other platforms, and I'm very much hoping. Hey, yes, people are coming from different different platforms into the chat. Uh, incredible! This is this is like this is magical. Uh, okay. Hopefully, like, did did you get my response? Did anyone see my message? Uh, because that would be incredible if that actually worked. Um, okay. Meow. Well, well. Meow. Back to you. Um, okay. This is this is amazing. So basically, hopefully, yeah. Well, Daniel, that's because you're on Algora. I want to know if someone who was on a different no response on Twitch. Right. Okay. So I think I have to. <laughs> I think I have to send us another message on, on restream. <laughs> Which is the sort of responsible for the the uh, the chat, <laughs> madness. Uh, well, hopefully. That's that's a pain. I don't know. Chat. Okay. Let's try this. Hey. Okay, hopefully YouTube and Twitch should get a message from me, but it seems like Apple IO, woof. Hey, oh look, there's so many nice people. Uh, like I, I'm having to see you on quite small scale, uh, but it is, it is nice to see you. Um, let's see, cool, this is, Amazing. Okay, so if stuff isn't working for you, sorry about that. Uh, come TV Algora looks good. Mm. And I'll figure out how to do some of these things like post in some of the, the different different chats. Um, but, okay, cool. So, um, right, so we're the first thing we're doing is we're tackling this uh, fail on ecosystem CI which we run against all kinds of different um, different platforms. Hey, Lona, nice to see you. Um, and uh, and so we, we've got that in... Ooh, yes, please do, Apple. I would love to see it. Am I allowed to know wh wh which one it is? Tell me, please. Um, sorry about that, uh, Rehan. Uh, okay, so um, I'm tackling this uh, ecosystem CI failure for I18N. And Jolbo. Boom. Ooh. That's beautiful. Julian, nice to see you. This is. Am I allowed to have, like, to get a ski mask because it's built in Nuxt? Like, can I just get one for free? Is that. That probably is not going to work that way. This is lovely. This is a really nice site. And. Yes. What do I see? Ooh, HubSpot. Oh yes, there we go. The Telltale Nuxt uh, ID and use Nuxt app is available. I can see we've got 3.12.2. You're running on the latest version. I'm delighted to see it. And it looks like you have Prismic, Pinia, Nux site config, i18n setup, fantastic. Really nice. Really nice. Um, okay, everyone check that out. It's a nice site. It feels very snappy. Like it feels like this is, you've optimized that well. Ooh. Tony, nice to see you. VirginGalactic.com. This is also a nut. Whoa. Another nut site. Yes, people. Oh, it's just, look at it. It's moving around. I'm getting totally distracted now. Oh, hello. Nice. Nice. I'm not normally a fan of scroll-driven animation, but this is seems smooth. Okay, very, very cool. Mm. 
No, it's not just about being cool, Woof. Like, you can you can share, share it away. Okay, so, uh, right, so I'm going to try and debug this thing. Um, so I'm actually just going to open the um, the the module. So um, what Ecosystem CI does is it builds uh, Nuxt locally, uh, and then it actually uses the tarball um, to directly override the, uh, the, well, the built files, to directly override the... Um, uh, to directly override the, the versions of, of Nuxt in this package. And then we see, you know, what, what the issue is, if any. Um, so uh, let's see, the test is called basic spec, a basic usage, usage spec. Um, and so let me just, I'm going to try running this uh, manually. So uh, Nuxt build uh, specs fix just basic usage. Uh, and then I'm going to run this with whatever the, the config that we need. So the basic usage spec is failing on, yeah, we probably can't take respect. So what is this one of the things that um, Nuxt basically can't take the blame for a lot of negative things, but also can't take the, the, um, like the credit, because it's really the credit at the end of the day goes to the devs who build the site. Nuxt is just a tool. So it's, it's, uh, yeah, I would love to take credit for some of the amazing things people build, but actually I can't really, you know, credit goes, goes to the people who, who do the work, which, um, you know, in all honesty. Okay, so uh, yeah, what was the failure? So it, uh, basic usage test and this language switching says that it's not working and it says it got stuck rather than switching to this article. Okay, so let's, let's try that. So the base language switching is here. <clears throat> okay, and so we restart the server with some different settings. Um, so we should be able to run preview. And then we're going to have to convert this somehow to a kebab case. I mean, to screaming case. So basically, I want, let's see, if I'm going to search for an uppercase letter uh, and replace it with underscore uppercase letter. Uh, let's just do that. Boom. No, I want it to be case sensitive, please. There. Okay, there we go. And then I think I should now just be able to uppercase them and then run Nuxt public in front of them. And uh, that should enable me to set this. So true and false. Great. Okay, so let's run the um, test with those runtime config and let's access it. Um, so this is the page. What does the test do? Um, it renders the page, clicks this. Let's find out where it is. Oh, I think I can use this, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's this thing. Okay. I'm going to click it. Boom. Seems good. Uh, and then it should be, yeah, that. Okay, and then I'm expecting home header and that all looks fine, right? This wasn't what failed. I think it was some kind of, wait a second, what failed? Damien, nice to see you. Uh, okay, so something failed. So it was the, Bonjour Le Mans. Oh, it's this. Okay, so we actually want to click this thing. And, okay, so it's this down here. Which one? That one. Okay, we're going to refresh the page again. Oops. Okay, and pull that again. We're going to want to click this thing. Aha. No, it seems fine. Uh, but we expect it to say, oh, it says bienvenue. Rather than bonjour le monde. That's interesting. Okay, so there's a, a different text. Now, why bienvenue? 
Where's that coming from? Because it feels like This is super weird. If I refresh the page, it's still showing. Is it? Okay, let's. So that's why it's not. Um... Okay, why should it be bonjour and amour? I don't think it should be. I think this is just a test error, right? It's not in the text anywhere, right? Okay, um, basic specs, sorry, basic usage, pages, index. And it should be showing at the top of the page, welcome. And welcome should be Just don't think this is right. So um, I'm so confused. Basically, I need to make sure that this this module passes. I don't want there to be any bugs in IE10N. But but I'm I'm just very confused because this doesn't seem to be to be correct. Um, okay. Whoops. So is are we passing in the main branch? We are checking out the main branch, I'm assuming. This is running. Which branch are we checking out? We must be. Hmm. Let's just confirm. Yeah. So why is it passing and why is it not? Okay, so I'm, I'm looking particularly at uh, specs, basic usage, fixtures. This is the project we're looking at. And I want, well, welcome. Aha, okay, here's, not sure why this wasn't coming in. Maybe I'm somehow excluding it. We do actually have, bonjour le monde. So, okay, it's a layer issue. Interesting. Okay, maybe the layer isn't, okay. Anyway, so it's it's not, it's not doing that. Uh, and then when we click this thing, uh, it should say, hello world. Is that the issue? Let's just, check the next one. So um, we're clicking, we want to click this and uh, it should look like that. So we basically want this thing. So we click link post and then we click the French link. Sorry, I'm just walking through a code base I'm not familiar with here. Okay, so basically we want to click this and we should be on the homepage, click that link post and then we uh, click this thing and then we expect the URL to change so French and we have a URL French post article that seems fine I'm not sure why that isn't working maybe Maybe this wait for transition thing does seem to be the only thing that is. Nick Pizza, Omar, nice to see you. It's a long time no see. It's lovely to have you back. So this is peculiar. Okay. Hello, Randy. Nice to see you and Fabian. Nice to see you both. Okay. Oh, 
I'm assuming that's going to show up on the Algora stream, but I saw a couple of comments appear on uh, somewhere else on Restream. Okay, so uh, so I'm trying this sort of magical multi-stream, um, which is seeming to go everywhere, and I'm very much hoping that it is in fact working in some way for people. Um, but we will see. We will see. Okay, what am I looking at next? Okay, I think there's some kind of layer issue because that is clearly reproducible. So it doesn't say uh, bonjour le monde. It says uh, bienvenue. So that's a problem, right? So why? We have, um, so we must have some kind of layers configuration, this. And is it about ordering? So let's try building it again. And let's just very quickly log this. Oh, are we built? Maybe I'm going to run dev prepare. It's a bit strange. Okay, I want to stub this, which is oh, it's stub. We'll do that and then build it again. Okay, so we're seeing our, our uh, layers. And so we have the basic usage, layer server. And just to confirm our French is layer lazy, should be where our French locale is coming from. Thank you, Rigora. That's nice of you to say. Rigora is amazing. Uh, Rigora is uh, doing everything, uh, sort of helping on Discord, popping in everywhere. Uh, Michael, nice to uh, nice to hear, hear from you. Nice to see you. Um, and uh, so Samaya, thank you. Um, You've, uh, it's obviously you've seen my, my climbing. I don't know why some of these messages aren't showing up in, uh, in the Algora chat. Um, but is there anything I can do about that? Can I appear? I can load restream as well. Why is that showing? Stream chat is a sort of I'm just gonna pop this here as well because um, I don't want people's chat messages to be lost and uh, this way we get them as well and then I'm gonna move uh, sorry I'm gonna move up the Algora chat up a little bit higher because we don't actually need the top of it anyway it's not accurate anymore so this way I sh think we should hopefully get some some messages that are there. So ho hopefully you see your message and you can see other people's messages too. Okay, so um, this is not, not um, no, but I don't, I can't think why this would be affected by Nuxt. Uh, um, so normally what I would do is see if I, can I reproduce this in a, uh, in a basic, Next project. Uh, cool. Woof. Uh, Woof has made a ticket shop for an organ competition. Cool. Next UI Pro Hub content. Nice. Uh, 
nice. Okay, I'm not going to buy that, but that is looks very smooth, very smooth. Um, cool. Uh, you went bouldering for the first time, Daniel. That is amazing. Uh, I'm gonna move. Come on. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love it so much. Honestly, it's amazing. Mm. How did you find it? Did you uh, do you enjoy? See, I posted a video that I, I did bouldering earlier this morning. Um, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Okay, so right, so I want to see if I can reproduce this layers thing with. Um, uh, let's just see if I can do it in the Nuxt repo. It's the simplest way of then doing some kind of investigation. So I'm going to uh, fire up. Okay, here's Nux repo, and I'll just very quickly do a whip and switch back out to main um, and pull in Nux i18n. And let's see if we can reproduce the, the layer setup. So we have our basic usage, and uh, it has, I'm just gonna copy this whole, whole thing across. Um, so, and actually I'm not going to do this on the main branch, I'll do it on the 3.x branch, just to make sure we're as close as possible. And Yeah, bouldering can get very tough. That's the fun of it, right? Okay, so we're going to pull in the uh, latest version uh, of Nuxt 18n. Great. And run install. Okay, hopefully we can. So it, it's amazing once you, once you get going with um, bisecting, how quick and helpful it can be. Uh, and that's what I have in mind to do here. So uh, first, I'm just going to build it. Um, right. Oh, it doesn't exist. Um, well, that is interesting. OK. That's really weird. Okay. Ah, okay. So we have more things to install. Um, I think it might be easier to do this instead. View uh, I. And what else? Oh, there is no playground. We're already in the in the playground. Yeah, it is tricky, isn't it? Um, it's it's hard to be uh the sort of um, it's, it's hard when you feel like you are not 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 um in the best in the best position. Okay, another problem. Cannot. Extend config, then layers, layers, server. Oh. That's because we haven't copied them across. Okay, so they are. What is it? Nux ecosystem CI. Workspace I18N. And then we have 
specs. What are they going to be? We're trying to load them from layer. Oh, fixtures, layers, okay. And yes, uh, welcome uh, to uh, Gustav stuff. I pronounced that terribly, I'm sorry about that. Right, let's try that one more time. I think it's probably not going to work actually because these layers probably have their own dependencies that I haven't installed. It feels like there's a lot of stuff that I'm, I can't just extract from this repo and try and make work. Uh, view i18n. Let's just um, set shamefully hoist so that I don't have any of those issues. Um, and let's see these layers. There are lots of them, presumably, and they all have they all have their own dependencies. Or I think probably not. It feels like they might just have different different data. So yes, reinstall node modules. Uh, next is. I'm just using node 22 um, right now, but I don't think it, Nux does not, doesn't have an opinion on that. Um, it just needs to be a maintained version of node. So we test in CI against node 18, for example. Oh, for goodness sake, what is this? What is this? I think this might be related to what I was doing a moment ago. I'm just going to prepare my dev server, or my, my um, Nuxt setup. Okay. Right. Well, this is uh, this is actually something that we need to figure out because that should be app. Oh, and this i 18 and hooks, presumably that is something that exists in the oh, for goodness sake. Okay, so it's what are all our Layers and we have plugins. Okay, so we're just going to copy across the plugins as well, which was maybe why we got some errors before as well. Tina, nice to see you. And yes, we are doing layers. Although this is really, uh, I'm I'm looking at a test fixture from the IE10N module, and I'm trying to uh, see to reproduce an error. Uh, and so I've moved it from the um, yeah, fallback. Okay, so I've moved it from the IETN repo to here, but I'm not sure this is correct because it just cannot load any of these keys. So I think it's not loaded the, uh, it's not loaded the configuration. So why hasn't it? So it's looking up at layers and they should have different locales. It's all fine.
So y why would this oh try building it. Jalal, nice to see you. Joining from LinkedIn. That's not necessarily something I even Oh, it's um oh wait a second did i have something running in the background yes i think i have multiple servers okay yeah no wonder i had some weird behavior okay so we're we're just uh restarting that one okay and click french okay and it says okay great this is good this is good because you can reproduce the bug Okay, so uh, let's just see if it reproduces with uh, dev. That will make it much easier. Actually, I'm not sure it will make it easier. It might be easier to build and hit from a um, hit from a an API. But let's see what happens if I hit it here. Aha. Okay, it's something to do with how locales are being added. So I expect it's something to do with layers. Let's let's bisect, right? So um, this, <laughs> there's quite a lot uh, here, but basically, uh, I think in order to reproduce, um, I'm going to have to stash all of that and, uh, and pop it. Okay, so get bisect start, get bisect bad, and I think it's three dot ten or something like that. So get stash. Get stash, uh, save, and get checkout 3.10.0, get stash pop, cool, uh, install, and let's see, build playground, and let's see, preview playground, and let's see if that does anything, like if I can reproduce, oops, still have to. Um, incoming change. Uh, incoming change and incoming change. The multiple server bug, uh, bug uh, Masha. What do you mean by the multiple server bug? Okay, so I'm expecting that this, if I hit the French, it should say uh, something about Le Monde. No, it doesn't. What version of I of Nuxt is this in? That's going to show everything, right? It will be uh, package.json, I guess. Because this should work, right? This is it's working. Uh, I see what you mean, Masha. Okay. Uh, okay, this, but this I thought. Oh, maybe we have to install the dependencies again. Okay, so uh, inst uh, let's see. Get stash pop uh, strategy. There's.
that's the idea. Okay, we need to install the latest version of UFO. Oh, it was the lock file. And we also need to update this to be hash app again, probably. <laughs> yes, it probably should be Ivan. <laughs> Okay, uh, come on. Oh, that's a bit weird. Oh, I think we have to uh, provide some kind of runtime config. Uh, right, so the runtime config for this bit, the um, uh, mond uh, should be yeah, what else should it be? These things. That's just unsetting them. Okay. Well, let's try these ones instead. So we had had a transfer there these ones. So let's try that. Um, and maybe, maybe. And hi, Dimitri. Uh, this is really a Nuxt It's still saying don't finish. Why do we think it should be Lamont? So, bonjour Lamont, bonjour Lamont. That is it. And oh, I think I didn't build it. Let's try this again. Okay, now it still says beyond for So why? to do that. Okay, it has a configuration here. So obviously this configuration is not being overridden by those, but the problem is even this version of Nuxt doesn't seem to be overriding with the layers. So what I don't get is is why the why the test suite is passing on i18n. So let's just go back to that uh, library. Pull this down and let's update Nuxt app. If we can find it.
C. Okay. Uh, right. So we want to. date okay so anyway those are some things that we probably will want to change so uh, draw small x's okay so uh, second we want to figure out why this text test picture is apparently working fine um, here Build it first. Let's just try running that. Oops. Try running that and confirm. It's still saying fuel finish. Okay, so uh, this is very helpful because we need to make sure what what the actual usage is. So the the, the fixture should say that it should be bonjour le monde and. That should be, I guess, with this runtime config. So let's just very quickly update the next config of this fixture. And let's just hard code it in. Alexius, nice to uh, nice to see you. And yes, Mark Cube, that is probably that is probably about right. Okay, still building. Why is it not? Why is it? Why is this? I just don't see how the test is passing at all okay let's just run this one and let, sorry let's see what it does in ci so we run uh install dev prepare and then okay, okay that's fine we build we've built okay then we run test and so we run install chromium and then test and test runs dev prepare and test types test unit tests pack okay and test spec is the issue. So we're just going to run vtest run specs basic usage. And this is what, uh, and we're going to bail the first one. super confused okay so it worked fine so somehow there's there's a difference between that my the way I'm running it and the way the test fixture is running it um, <laughs> well th th this is this is clearly this is not broken this is uh, like um, 
Let's see what the lock file version is. This is Nuxt version 3.12.2. Well, that's weird. So that's the latest version of Nuxt. So why is it even failing in CI? Why is it failing in CI? If it's if it is on the latest version of Nuxt. Maybe there is no problem here. Maybe this is a different issue. There's probably no issue. <laughs> because we haven't changed anything relating, relating to these, I, I don't think. I would still like, like to absolutely confirm that, however. Okay, I'm gonna open up my ecosystem CI one more time, and let's just confirm. So we have UFO. I'm gonna remove these. And remove the Vite plugin overrides, the Nuxi override, the test utils override, and the view overrides, okay? And we're gonna to have to do the same thing here. We shouldn't need Webpack Builder anyway. We're going to drop out test utils, Nuxi, and these overrides. And leave that unchanged and just refresh the lock file and update that. So install again. I think it must be something to do with how we're running this and maybe some other thing that we've we've overridden. Let's just run the test one more time. This is in the ecosystem CI. So this is testing the latest version of Nuxt. Okay, that's probably Oh, it needs to be built. Mark, hello. Interesting. So what's not working here? Looks like it's not even running. I think we've got a lot of dupes. Maybe multiple view versions, let's just confirm that. I'm just gonna run dedupe. But the problem is this is not going to help us uh, solve the, the bug if if it upgrades all the dependencies. Like we'd have to figure out what is being changed and figure out. So like it might be a view the view upgrade even. Um, okay, that's a little bit better.
it's checked. It's running. But it's certainly still saying Pimpin, but it's always done that. So let's try the test one more time. Hopefully it will run. Okay, it's running. And it seems to be working. So I think it was maybe the fact we were upgrading something else or changing something in the lock file that wasn't right. No, no, it was language switching that didn't work. Aha. But this even says that it's still, it's not changed at all. It's still at, this is so peculiar. Okay, language switching. Let's drop, uh, drop into this test. We want to start the server with this runtime config. And let's just um, hard code it. Is it? Yeah. And then we're going to render the page, click that, and we expect to save. I'm just so perplexed. Okay, what has actually been updated here in the Nux namespace? Uh, is test details updated? We must be using test details. Um, why isn't it in the lock file? This is so weird. <laughs> um, right. So I'm going to try another approach. Okay, so rather than any of this, I am going to drop in here all my files. I'm just going to say npm, uh, whoops, drop to the end. be basically empty, drop to the beginning, drop to the end. Okay, so uh, that we're going to want to say, oops, for goodness sake, we'll say uh, npm nightly latest. Okay, so just in case it makes a difference whether we are using a local directory here, I want to use the nightly versions instead. So again, we'll drop our lock file changes. And with this only, We will update. Oops, interesting. Okay, because, oh, right, we shouldn't be doing the fully nightly latest version. We should be doing 3x. <laughs> Come on, install. What 
is not working. Okay, let's just assume this might be a Nitro Pack issue. Let's pull in the old version of Nitro Pack. Oh, that's a view version problem. So let's just, again, we want to reduce our changes. So we're going to pin view at whatever the previous version was. Three dot four dot thirty. You, or we could pin it up, but uh, okay, it's loading. Not actually any use to us in terms of um, reproducing the bug because it always shows beyond Mm-hmm. Fishy, nice to see you. Yes, it is the stream again. Uh, okay. Well, that's weird. This is a totally different bug, a totally different behavior, rather, that we've never seen. But it seems maybe related. It's, it's locale uh, related. I am doing well, Fishy. Um, it has turned out to be a really lovely afternoon. Um, yeah, yeah. I18N is difficult to get right for sure. So. It's a very weird issue, right? Just let's not fail out. Let's just run the whole test suite and see if anything else fails. No, it, it's not the bug that I was looking for. Might be a different bug, but um, yeah, a lot of failures here. Not sure why that is. Uh, the only difference here, like things are failing here with this set of changes that I wasn't expecting. But um, one thing I, I do think is interesting is the Nitro Pack and View uh, changes were obviously important. Okay, so let's 
revert back to what ecosystem CI gave me, which was these directories that we had. And that's Bruno, nice to see you. That was nice of you to say. And let's pop those in and let's reinstall and see if we can figure out what might Sorry you don't like uh, don't like next. I think it's it's really tricky to make a good good framework. Um Tailwind CSS. What? What? <laughs> it's not at all relevant. How is Tailwind CSS even even involved? Okay. It's not related here, right? Okay, so um what failed? Oh, the, the repair of docs. So let's ignore that. It's not relevant to our test. But what we can do is uh, just prepare like this. Um, I know you weren't aiming it at at me, but um, in general, like I just don't like it. I don't like it when we say, you know, a framework is isn't isn't nice. Well, because I know what it's like to be on the receiving end of that, and it's not fun. Okay, let's run uh, our test suite again. Yeah, I think this is meant to be sort of combined chat. And hi, Malik, by the way, between YouTube and Twitch. It's not working exactly as I was meant to be. It was, I was expecting everything to come through Algora, but basically Algora has sort of dropped the other platforms, which might not be their problem. It might be, but anyway. So hopefully everyone is on the, on the screen. Um, we can maybe, this actually could make it a bit bigger. But yes, I, I clearly need to do a little bit of tweaking of, of the settings uh, at some other time. I don't want to, you know, make the stream about fixing the settings. Uh, yeah, I saw, I saw your message earlier. Um, okay, what's the issue? Hey, Johannes, nice to see you. Um, I also had to figure out the, um, I think how to get it to broadcast to restream, like, but I think I think that's 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 working. Um, I do seem to be streaming in multiple ways, so I don't know if it's overkill for people, but um, hopefully hopefully it's okay. Uh, I have had a very very frustrating stream, however. Like I was very much hoping this would be a slightly easier thing to solve, and there are some other things I still need to to do. So it's a pain, but. Yeah, I think that's probably fair. Uh, but the, uh, I mean, frameworks might not be good, but in general, it's, yeah. Right, okay, that's not even running, which is very weird. Oh, maybe because I hard-coded this. So not 
doing wonderful things for me. Let's see. The other thing is that this is reproducible on Ecosystem CI even with the current version of Nuxt. And the thing is that that repo uses the current version of Nuxt. And I think the key thing for me that that suggests is that this is an Ecosystem CI problem. Okay, that just passed with, no, didn't. It suggests that it's an Ecosystem CI problem rather than a Nuxt problem that would block the release. So I'm gonna drop it. Um, I've already followed up with Bobby from the IHNM team. So we'll see whether that is a thing that can be solved. Otherwise, our hotfix. So um, I will just very, very quickly open this tiny PR. Okay, and let's switch to our next thing, which is we need to figure out uh, let's see. This webpack thing might be faster, hopefully. Let's see. We have got this uh, PR and uh, I think I've started some work on it. So I'll just check it out uh, internally. Tendencies. And um, basically, this was a one file PR that actually changes everything because it, it changes this to an async a function, which means the entire Webpack uh, implementation needs to be re re updated. I also, by the way, have a question. Does Take a look at this PR. So, this is the PR. Um, and I will. I might need to see if I can post it in. Um, take, take a look in here as well. Um, take a look at the PR. And I think, at, like, look at the, the description. It looks to me like this might be AI generated. I don't know if that's unfair or not but it might be. Um, okay. Might, might absolutely totally not be, and I, it could be totally unfair, but. Right, let's see if I can run. Here, I'm gonna say builder webpack and playground. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Super weird, because that is only relevant for. Vite node, we shouldn't be using Vite node. This is Webpack. It should be the Webpack builder.
seems to be there's no Vite notification here. So why are we fetching invalidates? <laughs> That's super weird. Okay, so uh, where's this runtime beat node? Init beat node server. Bees. Okay, so it is loading webpack. Are we somehow falling back to beat node? Ooh, interesting. Okay, so there are some node servers in the background. Let's try this one more time. That might also be associated with some of those failures. What? What? Why would we be hitting invalidates? Okay, weird. So this function here, this runtime vit node function is being initialized and we are writing this file, but that means we're calling this. But for some reason, we are calling that. Wait a second. And we're going to check what I, what changes I've actually made in this PR. Uh, get diff uh, main. So it's it's basically Webpack that that may have changed. I've basically made it async. Oh, I bet it's something to do with maybe the require module bit. Maybe somehow that is pulling in something. So uh, I think what's happened somehow, hey, will Nux4 be released? Um, so basically, if you're wondering about Nux4, Nux4 is waiting on a Nitro Pack release. Um, and then we're going to have a, like a, a week or so of testing. So we're not about to release Nuxt 4 because one of the big things that it brings is a Nitro Pack update. And so we don't, we don't want to just prematurely um, update. Uh, and we definitely don't want to update without that or we would, we would be, um, we would be wasting our major upgrade. So um, that, that's why. Um, but yes, yes, Nitro Pack up update is, is coming and some great stuff is coming. T check out uh, Puya's tweet today. I think it's a fair summary of some of the exciting things. Oops. This is what he said. Going to remove some long lasting band-aids for a better ecosystem. That is what is happening right now. Uh, right. 
Okay, so basically I think we're doing this in our um, post CSS config for Webpack by accident. And I think what we're doing is this. So let's just um, console log plugin name, path, and yeah, let's do that. So let's run our dev server again. So obviously I'm doing this wrong. Oh, weird. Okay, now we're, I'm just going to drop all of this. Okay, it's not going to do it at all. Yes, it is Tina. Uh, it was very nice. Um, we were given the name, the package name Nitro. I was delighted to see that. Okay, <laughs> what is this? Why is this? Um, okay, I'm just going to push uh, my changes so I don't lose them to the branch, and I'm going to to use the. Um... Oh, rats. I'm going to check and see what the what the change here is. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay. Okay. So The V change is more is more straightforward. So Luke, hello. And uh, hello any. Nice to uh, see you both. And Ragura, uh, yeah, I, I don't exactly know what is going on with Algora chat, but it doesn't entirely seem to be uh, working. That's weird. Let me see if I can update it. There we go, you're appearing now. That was probably OBS, I guess, because, although no, it can't be. It must be a like a JavaScript loading issue. Okay, so uh, what am I doing, what am I doing? So, right, I wanna see what I changed in Webpack and why this wouldn't work.
What about this thing? That is definitely synchronous. So what are the functions that are now async uh, in, in Webpack land? We have apply presets. Uh, and that is awaited everywhere. And we also have the presets. So we have got, where is it, configs? I'm only interested in one pack for the moment. Yeah, this seems fine. Just got a little pop up on my screen for my monitor saying your monitor is about to turn itself off press a key any key if you do not want want this aha okay so the reason we were loading the server before is which was the, the nitro server which is why we're getting the bug is that it's not being created so we're not getting this output at all from webpack so webpack is basically hanging and nothing is happening so why that is <laughs> I do not know. Um, it might be something to do with the fact that everything is async now. So the we are waiting a promise, and then we are returning the configuration. Seems fine. Don't see why this is an issue, right? Because it's 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 awaited like we're, we're going through. Um, so we are applying the preset. I don't, let's see, what could possibly be the... be the problem here? It should be next steps. You're absolutely right about that. Um, I'm gonna to go to our post CSS uh, config and basically load nothing, right? So that, that feels like the safest Thing to do to test this. What is this? Why is something logging undefined? And let's just try that. Let's just have a look in that directory. Test fixtures package. Oops. And we should be generating a server there, but we're not. No idea we're not. Okay, let's just do some logging. So, um, Log, uh, webpack config creation and done. Oh, sometimes these things come uh, up when you build something. So let me just try building it. Uber bro, nice. Uh, Uber brought bread. Okay, so super bread. Yes, it's. Uh, 
Yikes. Okay, so we have a uh, an output. And does it work? It does not. Ooh, it's it's done the same thing. It's pulled in the um, the Vite node. Uh, it's pulled in Vite. So let's try that again. It is running. Okay, it's building. It's running. Seems fine. Great. Good news. So something to do with the dev server. Wait a sec. That's working fine. Okay, that's great. Let's try it one more time. It is working, it's working fine. Uh, Webpack is an issue with not working uh, with, uh, I deleted the dot output, so maybe that was the, the thing. It looks like um, Vite leaves stuff in dot output and dot uh, nuxt, which cause, causes Webpack some issues, which is weird because that really shouldn't cause. Nope, we're getting the same bug here. Well, let's see what happens in CI. I guess it's not going to work, um, but I can come back to that. It's also not a blocker, but no, it's, yeah, it's not working. For Webpack, it seems to be working fine. No, it's not working fine for Vite either. That's interesting. What could Vite be getting wrong? Hmm. Okay, so I think we need to add some tests for what's happening with this post CSS plugin, which could be the, oh no, the feet, the Webpack configuration is working. I wonder if it's about synchronicity. So we have a probably we have a Nitro hook, so we probably hook into uh, into Nux Builder Watch. That's probably what we do. And I wonder when Builder Watch is called. It's probably called earlier on. So I think probably what we're doing is we're we're ending up. Huh. I think that it's something to do with that. I think it will be something to do with the fact that we are messing with the order because it's working fine eventually. But the very first start didn't work. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to come back to this. Um, but the release of Nuxt 4 is, um, just by the way, heads up, I'm, I'll, I'm going to draw, draw stumps here um, and have a look in, again in a second. And I'll do some more streaming later this week. Um, but the uh, release of Nuxt 4, we're waiting for the release of Nitro. Uh, Puya is working extremely hard on that. Uh, and also, um, H3. Um, there are going to be breaking changes coming there that we need to update um, in Nuxt as well. Um, but great stuff is happening um, in Nitro. Um, and we, but yeah, we're not releasing Nuxt 4 until we have Nitro release. 
Um, and so there's a lot of, of middle steps in between. What we are waiting for, the release I was talking about um, in this stream is the release of Nux 3.13.3, which is um, 3.12.3, which contains lots of um, bug fixes um, that, that I'm really hoping to, to land uh, very shortly. So today, today. So um, that's, that's my, my priority at the moment. Thank you everybody for joining me on these various different streaming platforms. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, please let me know if that was a useful way of doing it as opposed to just doing it on Twitch. Um, but having Al Gore as the sort of central point of it all. Um, and uh, yeah, I really appreciate and I enjoy, I enjoy these uh, streams. It helps, helps me um, and uh, it's, it's nice to stream with friends. So thank you for, for joining. And yeah, I will, um, I will catch up with you all later. Bring it to me. Bring Vite related stuff uh, in Nux to me. Um, Anthony is also um, obviously <laughs> pretty, really up to date with Vite. Um, but I'm more than happy to, to see stuff. If you've got an issue, feel free to um, ping it my way. And ping it my way via a direct message on, on Twitter or Discord is probably a good way. Johannes, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with everybody uh, later. Thank you, Victor. Ah, uh, nice, nice you joined from LinkedIn. Cool. And yeah, um, bye. Cheers. See you.